I'm Danae Irvin, and I hate peanut butter desserts. Welcome to Grumble Goat. My name is Matt Labodka, and this is a show about all the small things that drive me insane. Let's grumble. Why are restaurants trying to make peanut butter desserts a fancy, fancy thing? I just don't understand. It's just going to taste like peanut butter. Why don't you just go into your cupboard, pull out a thing of Jif, and get a spoon and have at it? If you get a cheesecake peanut butter dessert, it's just going to taste like peanut butter. It's not fancy. It's not great. It just tastes like peanut butter. And then you just paid 15 to $20 in New York for peanut butter, which you can get anywhere. I don't understand. And the other thing is that this peanut butter concept is bleeding into the daily life menu. At restaurants, they have, you know, like a peanut butter hamburger. Why? It just tastes like peanut butter. And now you're eating like ground meat and you put peanut butter on top. Who said that was a good idea? Guess what? I don't drink my coffee in the morning and think to myself, you know what this is missing? Peanut butter. And almond extract has been used in desserts for years and years. So almond butter, that I can understand. There's no peanut butter extract. No, it's almond. Almond butter, cashew butter, I don't know. Maybe I would try that. But a peanut butter dessert? Just send me back to kindergarten and give me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because it's basically the same thing. You go to the Cheesecake Factory. You have a hundred options. Who is the one that chooses the peanut butter cheesecake option? That's all you're going to taste. You could have just brought your own tub of Jif and then slabbed that right on top of the cheesecake. What's the point? You're not even getting the dessert. You're just tasting the same thing over and over. Peanut butter is for children. That's how parents get their kids to eat things. Oh, but I put some peanut butter on there. Don't you want this? Listen, I have this famous secret family recipe for caramel chocolate brownies. And there was one time I made them for a friend and they said to me, you know what? Have you ever thought about adding peanut butter to this? And I said, absolutely not. Why would I do that? Why would I make it just taste like something I could steal off of a child sandwich? Who are you? What's wrong with you? I'm Danae Irvin, and I hate peanut butter desserts, and that's the grumble. Grumble, 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 grumble. What? Grumble, 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 grumble. What's got your goat? For the latter half of the show, we'll bring in my better half, Veronique, for an unpretentious look and a segment we call... What's got your goat? We have a new guest grumbler with us today. Hello, Danae. Hello. Danae Irvin is here with us. Danae, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you guys? I'm fantastic. I'm well, thank you. Well, I'm fantastic. Danae, you helped us ring in the new year. I did. It was a blast. We accidentally went into a time warp and stayed up until 6 a.m. Yeah, you wouldn't you would not leave our apartment. You yeah. kept us up all yeah. night long. That's what happened. It was really, really fun. I think this was one of the best New Year's Eves I've ever had because someone was like, oh, it's two o'clock. And I said, shh. <laughs> and then someone was like, oh, it's four already. And then I was like, shh. We were all tested for COVID before we got together. Just Absolutely. so we were this being is what safe. she does when I when I try to wake her up in the morning too. I'm like, it's noon, and she's like, shh. <laughs> now during that recovery period, Danae did have us over. Mm. For oh her, yes, her Latvian smelting competition. True. Oh my gosh, I think it's so wonderful. I love that we did that. Not Hel- Latvian. I'm Irish, but I did inherit the tradition. It was super fun. Inherit yes. from your Latvian ethnicity? No, from you a in- friend. You I'm inherited friend. it from a friend. <laughs> yes, I think that's so wonderful that we can embrace all cultures and we can experience their traditions it's almost like it's a melting pot but we had a melting spoon at your place no we didn't have a melting spoon we had melting solder in a spoon in a spoon yeah so you take a certain amount of solder and then you place it over hot hot fire you let it melt and then you quickly pour it into very cold water Uh, the only type of fire that i prefer to use is hot hot fire (laughs) yes hot hot yeah, when I'm when just I'm just like Taco Bell. When I'm cooking <laughs> hot fire. Those, Diablo. Those are the sauces. Right, that's the sauce. <laughs> now, Danae, you are also a performer that's been displaced by uh, <laughs> yes. the play. <laughs> Danae, you- I have to tell everyone, Danae has a voice of an angel. Why don't you give us four bars? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> so you were quite literally 
doing a show when the plague broke out. Yeah, I was. I was obviously in Grumpy Old Men, <laughs> and uh, that got canceled for obvious reasons. Yeah, old and grumpy men are particularly susceptible to the disease. The yes. And you've always kept up the workout routine, and now you're a personal trainer. Yeah, I like took the opportunity of COVID to finally like get certified and become a personal trainer and help people stay fit. Absolutely. Or- yeah. And if you would like to use Danae's <laughs> services, she works at Crunch. Very exciting. So if you live in New York, check the show notes to get in contact with Danae. Yes. Uh, we've both utilized her services. I want to help anybody. That's what it's about. You know that scene where like the angry guy's like, oh, I'm going to give this guy his comeuppance. And he taps him on the shoulder. And then the other guy stands up and he's like this huge Brutus guy. That's what happened when I went to Danae for <laughs> training. She was like ready in her workout gear. And I was like, Oh, she's, <laughs> oh, darn. She's strong. <laughs> yes, totally. Yeah. Um, I loved the meal you guys made. It was so delicious. Well, we like to invite guests into our home with a meal. It's like you're wooing me. Yes, absolutely. And Danae is also in our pod. Absolutely. And she's also in our woo circle. <laughs> woo she circle. is in our woo circle. I, I did notice there was no dessert. I don't know if you guys grew up having a dessert as part of your meal every night. Well, that's why we invited you. (laughs) You are our dessert. Wow. My family was big on desserts. After dinner was the breakout dessert time. There was a pie or a cobbler or ice cream in the freezer all the time. So if your mom made this like really extravagant pie or whatever, did you ever eat it and then afterwards say, mom, this was really great, but I would really like it if there was peanut butter in this. What? No. No. I would never tell my mother to remake a pie and say, (laughs) with a dollop of peanut butter, this is going to be right as rain. Exactly. Have you ever wished that there was peanut butter, like a part of your dessert? Now, hold on now, because Mm. one of my favorite candies is the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Mm. I like peanut butter. I actually like Reese's Pieces more because I I like the crunch and then whatever that filling is, is just... It's peanut butter. (laughs) <laughs> now you know what you know what I'm thinking though because you sprinkle some peanuts on top of some ice cream you got yourself a sundae well you that's know? different though but no, that's I... different than peanut butter you didn't get peanut butter ice cream that's to go right. with the sundae peanut butter just like <laughs> takes over the entire taste right it really does because I, I do make smoothies for breakfast mm, mm-hmm. so I'll make like blueberry and banana smoothies mm. and then when you add peanut butter it becomes a peanut butter smoothie right so you notice a banana is going bad and then you say oh I'll just throw this peanut butter in here it'll take over the entire flavor so no one will notice that the banana got rotten now i've never thought to use peanut butter to cover up rotten food because when i make the smoothies i overdo the peanut butter because i want more of that peanut butter taste for breakfast for breakfast what about desserts though we've been down to cape may now cape may has a store called the peanut butter shop and they like have little syringes where you can try all the different peanut butters they make. Different types of peanut butter. Pe- they use peanuts. They use almonds. They use cashews. They all, all the butters. All the butters. All the nut butters. Oh, nutter butter. Oh, what do you think about nutter butters? Dreadful. <gasps> <laughs> but they make oversized chocolate and peanut butter cups. But oversized. a giant one. Oh, yeah. And that's that's my favorite thing in Cape May. Oh, my gosh. Mm, I can kind of get behind peanut butter chocolate day to day buy it at the dollar store kind of thing you must you be know. buying the off-brand ones no i'm i don't buy them at all but um <laughs> but you go to the cheesecake factory mm-hmm. you know they have 50 types of cheesecakes the person that says you know what i want that jiff flavored cheesecake i like that you're putting it down by mentioning a brand name peanut butter absolutely you could just go to your pantry and pull that out and get a spoon i've done that before <laughs> I've searched the pantry for snacks and I've said, you know what? I am just going to take the backside of the spoon. That was she's, desperation. She's, yes, it's very good. And very no fun. one would sell that at their restaurant. No. Now, hold on. Hold on. Now, I'm, I'm not that familiar with the Cheesecake Factory's menu because it's one of the longest novels I've ever attempted. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory is pretty delicious. They have re- very nice Aperol spritzes. Did you say this is missing peanut butter? <laughs> Do you hate peanut butter across the board? Or yes. Is, are we spe- specifying dessert here? This is my question, too. Or is it dessert or is it just peanut butter? It's mostly peanut butter desserts. Mm-hmm. Okay. But, like, I've gone to restaurants where they have peanut butter hamburgers. Ew. And I have friends who have been like, 
oh, I'm, I'm getting that peanut butter hamburger. And I thought, there is everything wrong with you. That's disgusting. Peanut butter hamburger? Yes. Oh, things have gone wrong. And I don't understand what chef said. You know what? I I got some peanut butter in my car. So <laughs> we're just going to put that right on there. And I'm curious about how <clears throat> could you make a peanut butter hamburger? I think like you, you make a hamburger on? and then you get a knife or a spoon and you put some peanut butter on top. <laughs> Do you put cheese on it? Yes, it's a hamburger. You can add your bacon. Pickles? Pickles, onions, tomatoes, tomatoes and then you cheese? say, mm, peanut butter. It's like mayonnaise. <gasps> I mean, I love mayonnaise. Now, well, now I want to try it. Well, you know, now I, we're going to go to Burger King and get an Impossible ew, Whopper and no. add a dollop of peanut butter. This is a gourmet hamburger. Yeah, right? we, we, hamburger. Got we, peanut butter. we slapped some Peter Pan on okay. here. Yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, we have Beyond Burgers in the refrigerator. I think we should do an experiment with the peanut butter. Yeah, but what's, what's Beyond Peanut Butter? Almond butter? Yes, I like all of these things that everyone's saying. The almond butter just gets in my teeth. Did yes. George Washington Carver invent peanut butter? Or did he He just like figured out a hundred uses for peanuts or something like that? Sounds more accurate. Well, I feel like the invention of peanut butter came from crushing peanuts and then making butter. The, yep, yeah, right. That's a fair assumption <laughs> since that's the recipe. I feel like the average housewife was like churning butter yeah. and then the rude husband was like eating you know what that needs some peanuts. I feel like it was an accident though. I feel like they were churning the butter and someone was eating peanuts next to the butter churner. Wait, do you think perhaps you ever gone to those places where like you can eat the peanuts and throw the shells right on the floor? Ew, I know those people. They're so gross. Yeah, what do you think it might be like somebody was eating those and like was throwing the peanut shells That's on the I'm floor? That's what I'm saying. And then he choked on one and then like he vomited and Ew. He collapsed and then somebody just out of curiosity just sort of so dabbed the, in it. No, the, the dog first, ate it. The dog ate that vomit. And then the dog the dog was Jif himself. The first peanut butter was vomit butter. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I think we're going towards and, Danae's point here. And now we're putting it in desserts because it tasted so good the first time around. My point is <laughs> if there's a hundred uses for peanut butter, why don't we have peanut milk? I remember what I was gonna say. <laughs> You know, there's this thing called peanut whiskey. What? Oh, I'm sad. Yes. Well, you know, Kim Gurr, she likes the peanut whiskey. Does she like peanut butter desserts? Probably. Exactly. <laughs> you ever given a dog peanut butter? Oh, yeah, they love it. Yeah, they can't talk. <laughs> it's, it's like a half hour of the tongue being there. Ew, 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 ew. Um, yeah, but they love it. <laughs> Have you ever had a heated peanut butter and jelly sandwich like a toasted peanut butter and jelly N no uh i'm an adult oh my gosh it's so good though it's so good it's so good it's delicious no, would you, you pay 14 dollars for it at a restaurant no i would make it at home yeah <laughs> when people ask me what's your favorite dessert there's no question what my favorite dessert is chocolate ice cream Ugh. that's mm. it just the one flavor and texture chocolate ice cream heaven who by who yeah do you like milk chocolate or do you like a chocolate gelato well okay <laughs> do you like water or do you like sparkling water like <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a, a huge chocolate person. I want more of a carrot cake. I like the cream cheese icing. I mm. want to taste different flavors. Oh, you like all the different flavors. I like cream cheese icing. I like buttercream icing. I don't like whatever that like whipped icing is that they're doing at the grocery store. I hate that. I think that's disgusting. Whipped cream. Yeah, I'm Ooh. not. Yeah, no, I don't want the whipped cream. I want sugar. Cream cheese frosting is fantastic. Oh my gosh, okay, it's so good. Veronique is physically pushing me away from the microphone. Right now. <laughs> I'm always a little disappointed in the dessert menu. Absolutely, right? Yes, you're because you're like because we already know the perfect dessert is just plain ice cream. No, no, because they usually have like a brownie lava cake that's not that exciting. Are you going to Applebee's? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm thinking of. So. When they have a peanut butter thing on the menu, I'm like, mmm, peanut butter? Like, what's that taste like? Mm, it tastes like... <laughs> what does that taste like, Bernie? <laughs> tastes like peanut butter. Totally, 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 totally. One time for Thanksgiving, I was put in charge. I was with friends, and I was put in charge of making the apple pie. And I was like, you know what I hate? That people follow a recipe, and they stop at the brown sugar when the recipe says stop at the brown sugar. So I added twice the amount of brown sugar I was supposed to. You know what that pie tasted like? Brown, brown sugar. sugar. Tasted like peanut butter. What? <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> 
This has been an episode of Grumble Goat. Thanks for listening. I'm Matt Labotka. I'm Veronique Hurley. Please subscribe. I hate when people say please subscribe. Grumble, grumble, grumble. The first peanut butter was vomit butter. <laughs>